Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will be looking at how to water your terrariums without killing your plants. So I think it's been more than a month since I created this terrarium and I just thought a lot of you must be wondering on when and how much you should water your terrariums. So I'll give you some quick tips which will hopefully work for most of you. So the basic idea, as you know, is that the terrariums don't have any drainage holes. So the water has nowhere to go. Hence, it is very important to keep this in mind and not overwater the arrangement. Now with the basics in mind, let's see what is the right time to water your terrarium. Firstly, you need to inspect the bottom of the glass bowl and check if you see water stagnation like this. If the bottom looks as dry as this with no remnants of water, then this is the ideal time to add water. However, if you see water logging like this, then do not water the arrangement. And as an additional note, you can see how the roots of the plants here have grown so well in their pursuit to finding water. For the watering, you can either use a sprayer like this and spray till you see the water settling down. Or just like how I would recommend, you could use the syringe without the needle to water your plants. You can get this syringe from your nearest medical shop. But remember, while disposing of the needle, make sure you dispose it with the plastic cap on so that the waste handlers don't get hurt. So there are five reasons why using this syringe helps. 1. If you have small terrarium containers, this can get in very easily. 2nd. The water flow will be controlled compared to spraying. 3rd. You can directly administer the water onto its roots like this. 4. Overwatering can be avoided. And 5. If you have succulent terrariums, then spraying must be avoided and this can be used instead. Now, the frequency of watering depends on where your plant is located. If your plants are located in a very bright southwest window, then the water evaporates quickly. And if you see no standing water at the bottom, then add water. But if you have this in an east location, then you might need to wait a little longer. So depending on whether you see water at the bottom or not, you need to water your terrariums. And if you're wondering about fertilizing, do not worry, the whole purpose of a terrarium is to contain the plants in it and not let it outgrow the bowl. So with this, we have come to the end of the watering terrarium bit of this episode. Now you can stay tuned for some USB extras where I will be sharing some glimpses of my recent plant haul at a Bangalore nursery. And please do not forget to like, share and subscribe if at all you like this video. And also do not forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, the links are given below. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, goodbye.